All right, another model. Fiscal three layer model, right? We gotta learn it. Uh, we gotta know a little bit about it. They'll ask you, you know, they'll ask you about the core, the distribution, the axis. I got them back here. All right, and we'll explain, I'll explain a little bit about everything briefly. And then we'll do different lessons because remember I am breaking this up into little, little tiny morsels. All right, so you guys can understand but again, you need to get into no major detail, no major detail. Uh, in, this, in this particular lesson, we'll talk about the core. The core is literally the core of your network, right? The main router, the router that's gonna send information from one building to another building, from one campus to another campus. What is it that you need to be concerned with at the core? Speed, right? You're not gonna have uh, 56K connection going up there, right? You're going to have Metro E. You're going to have, you know, OC151 lines. You know, you're going to have, I don't know if even that exists. Uh, you're going to have major bandwidth going across. You want to minimize the amount of things that are going. You don't want to have intra VLAN connectivity going on in your core router, right? Your core router has to be the one with the least amount of work its main purpose is to pass information across. So one of the things you need to be concerned with with your core router, not only speed, not only speed, because remember, everything gets you know filtered or whatever within your distribution layer. But we'll get into that one in the next lesson. But your core router, definitely this is not a good representation. This, I'm just showing you the three layers because your core router, uh, you need to have redundancy. Because if one of those links goes down, every user gets affected, right? So you definitely want major redundancy on your core routers in case a link goes down somewhere. Unless the link goes down, both links, let's say you have two links going to the, to the other side of the router, right? You have another router that's another core router. You definitely want to have redundant links to all your core connections. You want to have that. Because if not, it's going to affect all your users. So what Cisco's trying to tell you here is that, hey, leave your core router alone. You know any kind of policy-based routings or into VLAN routings or anything like that. You want to make sure that your core router, its main purpose is speed, get information across. So another thing that you need to be considering, hey, what routing protocol am I going to use? Am I going to use RIP in there? that sends every 30 seconds its routing table, even entire routing table, even though you can mess around with the timers. Am I gonna use EHRP? Well, are you using Cisco routers? Are you gonna use OSPF? Or hey, even better, are you gonna use static routes? But depending how big your enterprise network is. You know, I'm gonna find a definition for that enterprise network. But anyway, so depending how big your network is, you may wanna use static routes. That way there is no overhead whatsoever, there's no, nothing being sent out. You got static routes, so hey, you may be using default routes, who knows? The whole point is that you need to make that decision, but definitely redundancy, extremely important at the core router. So information and speed, speed to get from one side to the next. So you gotta make a decision on how much data is going across and how important this data is that you cannot lose a link and then all of a sudden nobody can get anywhere. So that's what Cisco is trying to tell you here in this core layer. Now as far as all the layers in total, remember one of the things that Cisco says, another conceptual blueprint not necessarily needs to be three separate layers, okay? But just you have an idea of what to do, okay? So again, core layer, speed, all right? And redundancy, very important. Choose the, right, choose the right type of routing, and you're gonna use a dynamic routing protocol, which routing protocol you're gonna use. See you in the next one.